Hey, it's James Davis from uh, Pax8 Academy uh, again, and thought this week for sharing a thought bubble. One of the things I'm starting to notice in my clients that I'm working with and out in the wider partner base in conversations is around cash flow. And as we head into potentially a recession or at least a bit of a downturn, uh, cash flow is going to get tight. And we've got to be better at managing our clients uh, actually paying us. And we're seeing quite a uptick in later payments for a lot of part of my partners that I work with. So I just thought I'd share some thoughts around the dangers that we're heading into and some of the opportunities that we can uh, leverage in this period as well. And the first should be collecting cash. And it's something that us MSPs really avoid doing. It's conflict, it's confrontational, and uh, it, it's a real danger from a business perspective. So a few things that you should be looking at doing is making sure if you're not doing it already, um, is making sure you keep an eye on the AR and not just, not just the amount that's ticking over, but actually the detail. And this should be a weekly activity you're doing as a, as an MSP owner or your financial controllers should be keeping an eye on and reporting on in weekly team meetings to keep up, keep a close eye on what clients aren't paying, what is building up, what needs to be dealt with. If you don't have accounts receivable processes, it's definitely a place that you need to start and make sure you've got consistency around how you deal with it and a policy. Um, and, and the next thing that you, sh you should do, and there's no reason that we shouldn't do this as MSPs, is do automatic direct debit. The majority of our engagements are with uh, ongoing recurring basis. There's no reason just because a client's always paid by invoice why we can't change them over to automatic uh, direct debit. Um, it's it's something that you have to deliberately go and push, but the the impacts of not having to manage that AR and have that automated uh, dramatically changes your businesses. And I, I've seen that from um, MSPs that have done it. I've done it in the past with some businesses myself as well. So second, um, second major point is collecting cash for our professional services and once off pro products. Um, a lot of MSPs typically take up front payment for their for the hardware for, for projects, but as everyone's finding, more and more professional services are purely labor and we, we write it off and go, oh, it's okay, labor doesn't cost any, it's not a direct cost. Uh, it's actually our largest cost and the risk of us carrying um, professional projects moving forward um, while, while our clients um, can use this as a bank can, can be quite dangerous. And we've seen through the COVID example with a few MSPs that we're doing projects or just delivered projects and the, the clients aren't bust. There's no way to get your money back. So you've just sunk all this labor cost into something that's not been valuable. And it's not just the cost of having to pay the staff and the lost revenue. It's also the lost opportunity cost. What could have those people been doing to generate revenue elsewhere? Um, so we've got to get better at actually being more deliberate about taking more prepayment up front. And my best recommendation is always is develop a, uh, either a uh, better value-based um, fixed priced um, project or go back to our school retainer models. Collect the cash, you're gonna deliver it, you're not going anywhere, back yourself. Um, along those lines as well is a lot of people don't realize uh, the PPSR, which is the Personal Property Securities Register. So when you are dealing with um, transfer of title of uh, hardware and you can even, um, I can't remember the exact term, but there's another term that you can use for lodging your recurring services. And what that means is your lodge, when you lodge these um, things with the government, you're basically becoming a secured creditor. So if a, if a um, business does go into um, receivership or they go insolvent, 
you'll be a secure creditor. So you're at the top of the list um, of getting of getting some money back um, compared to if you weren't a, if you're an unsecured creditor where it's unlikely you get anything. The the other final thing to 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 look at is actually using something like Creditor Watch to look at the eight ASIC records and keep an eye on the credit ratings, keep an eye out for notifications of admin, going into administration and and other things like court cases and stuff against directors. So we've got to get better, not only of keeping an eye on our clients, but when it when we are getting prospects, instead of getting super excited about we've got a potential new client, going and using something like Creditor Watch to have a look at the business do they have judgments against them for not pay for no payments? Um, is the director a director of multiple businesses and they have judgments against all these other businesses? It saved my ass in the past, um, and and it's something that you should you should be using to um, screen a lot more potential around um, what you're doing. So collect your cash um, and and make sure you invest in it. We've got this funny thing in MSPs where as long as we've invoiced it, we think we're all good, but cash is king. If we don't have the cash in our bank, it basically doesn't exist, and that's the attitude that we need to have. So implement processes, use technology, automate things, utilize our systems to um, review our potential risks, and, and look it into the PPSR. It's not too difficult, but it's one of those core basics that we need to do as a mature business to protect ourselves, especially going into uh, economic downturn as more and more fragile small businesses uh, are becoming more difficult. Final thing I'll leave you on is also creates opportunities. I've been around long enough, I've been in sales. What I'm starting to notice is as cash flow gets tight for businesses, they're going to slow down in purchasing and refreshing their their IT equipment, which is bad for us as managed services because it um, reduces our margins because we start getting more issues. This is a perfect time to start looking at um, partnering with a leasing company again and um, taking those options to your client and saying, well, this is what your upfront capital costs will be, but also we've got a leasing partner, they've quoted us this X amount per month for you to release it over this period. If you can tie that into the lifespan of the units, you don't have to deal with the financing component. And if you um, let the clients know up front and you've got the right leasing partner, the client can sign off to say they've received the goods. You can get full 100% prepayment of for all the products and all the all the labour that you are you need for that um, to deliver that professional service. So it's a win-win for everyone. Um, and this is the sort of time where people are a lot more open to those options than when things are good and they've got cash. So consider that, collect your cash, see what other opportunities there are to keep driving products and just don't stop selling. If there's a one thing that I can share from my experience of running businesses through ec economic downturns and especially COVID as an example, Businesses that keep doing what they're doing and keep driving sales, keep communication up with clients, completely outperform the others. If you put your head in the sand, if you don't, if you think, oh, cash is tight, I don't want to sell, well, you're not going to sell anything and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So go out there, see what you can do. I hope this thought bubble triggers, triggers some ideas and it shines some light on um, issues you may already starting to see or things that you might see in the not, not too distant future and you can be on the front foot and deal with them before it becomes a massive issue and you're, and you're struggling for cash and to pay the bills and payroll because that's not fun. Uh, we're not a charity, we're a business. Uh, and again, cash is king. Collect it, manage it, maintain it. Hopefully this has helped and I'll talk to you next time.